Hello makers, I'm Joe the 3D Maker Noob and it's time for me to talk a bit about drones. Now I've mentioned in quite a few episodes that I got into this hobby and many of you have asked me to make an episode on drones. So, well, here we are today. So a bit of an introduction as to why I have so many drones. So initially I got into the hobby and with every hobby that I get into, <clears throat> 3D printing, I tend to dive in head first at the end of the pool. So what I did was I went into the um, local ads and I got myself a Wakera runner or Wakera runner 250. And that is a seriously awesome machine. But after about 20 seconds of flying, I realized that um, I probably bit off more than I can choose. So I went online, I did a bit of research and I bought myself an Eashin Aurora 90 from Vanguard. Took about a week and a half by DHL to get here. It was around, I think it was about $150, which was relatively decent for a brushless um, mini FPV racing drone. I went outside to fly it and yeah, after about two minutes, I crashed it and I figured, I need something smaller indoors to try out. In the meantime, I had also purchased from Gearbest this Ferry B QAV95. Now, I ordered these around the same time, but this only recently uh, arrived because it was on back order because they didn't have it in stock. And yes, I did purchase these. So to be honest, I haven't even flown this and I don't even think I'm there just yet. So I thought to myself that I need to think a bit smaller, at least for now. So I got myself this Eashin QX95, which is much more indoor friendly. However, it still packs a bit of a punch. So once again, went back to the drawing board. And that's where this tiny guy came in. This is the Eashin E013 uh, or Eashin 013. A lot of people know it as Small Pepper. It's a $35 FPV drone, which you can buy from Banggood. As soon as I saw this, I, I just wanted to try it out. It looked like fun. And 35 gets you this and also the remote. But if you pay another $30, it also gives you the goggles. So I thought, yeah, 65 bucks, awesome. Needless to say, if I'm gonna go buy one for myself, like this, small and cute, then my daughter needs to have one as well. So I got two of them. Now this didn't come in this yellow frame. It came in this frame. However, after a couple of crashes, it started breaking apart. So I went online and did a bit of research to find a frame and there is an Eashin E10, which is very similar to this. And the frames match perfectly so i decided to print it out so i threw in some a printer pro yellow pla just to test it out and i printed it and unfortunately what i found was that the model is designed in a very complex way for some reason however it printed and it printed fine the only problem was that the tolerances for the screws were a bit too tight and I needed to fix them. So what I did was I went into Tinkercad, I imported the frame as an STL and I edited the screw holes a bit um, just for the screws to go in easier. Once that was done, I put it all together. And as you saw in the intro, it works perfectly fine. And as you can see, everything fit perfectly fine. Now, what happened was my daughter saw this she knows it's supposed to be black. And as soon as her little mind figured out what happened, one word came out of her mouth and that was pink.
Success! So as you can see, success. And it actually turned out really cool. So my daughter's gonna be extremely, extremely happy with this. Now granted, the frame will be slightly heavier from the normal one. I'd say it's probably two or three times the weight. Um, so personally speaking, I think this frame needs a bit more tweaking. I'm gonna try to do one myself. Um, it's a relatively simple yet complex object to design, but I definitely will. In the meantime, I will upload this as a remix on Thingiverse for those of you who are interested. Um, but yeah, it can definitely fly. It's The E013 is actually a lot, a lot of fun. Um, it's quite nippy. It can do a few stunts with the remote. It can kind of like flip over. Uh, but now, yeah, the battery died. So that's another thing. You need to get yourself a few extra batteries if you're going to get this. And I have to say that 40, for 35 bucks, just for these two, personally speaking, this, um, a little too small. It works. It works fine. But it's a little too small and too narrow. So you kind of get a bit dizzy, which is why I got a larger one. Uh, much much better but yeah if it's raining outside it's winter it's cold you cannot fly this is awesome this is also very good um i'm still practicing a bit with that because i want to get ready for summer so i can move onwards and upwards that is it for me today guys thank you very much for watching uh, as always i will leave links in the video description to everything that i bought here uh there will be affiliate links so free to use them, free to not use them. It's entirely up to you. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section below. Like, subscribe, share, and as always, happy making and happy flying.